with this video we will be doing did the barbs take it too far and if you want to help this channel in the content that we make and please help put our merchandise the link is in the description if you didn't hit the like button make sure you hit the like button try and get the channel to grow and the only way we're going to do this if you like share and comment on the content so without further ado let's get into the video let's go Chi Chi, get the yayo. Yeah, get the yayo. Yeah, What's going on with you today, my friend? Thank you so What's much for popping? joining me today. I appreciate yeah. you. So today I want to talk a little bit about a recent situation that just transpired in regards to the Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj beef. Because what although Megan Thee Stallion hasn't set up peep oh, and Nicki Minaj dropped her response, there's still an aftermath that's currently taking place, which that's definitely to be expected <laughs> because <laughs> of the magnitude of this entire beef. It's literally been one of the most talked about things in pop Gosh. culture for a couple of days straight. Like Nicki Minaj has been trending every single day. Megan Thee sure. Stallion has been trending every single day. And I'm yeah. sure there's going to be a lot more things that come into the equation. And of course, I'll be covering all that. So, you know, make sure you stick around and subscribe. So <laughs> as you guys can see from the title, though, things are really escalating right now. Mm. Now, one of the ways things have been escalating is Nicki Minaj fans, okay, the Barb's, they apparently leaked the location of the cemetery where Megan Thee Stallion's mother, Holly Thomas, was laid to rest in 2019 after she passed wow. away from brain cancer. May God rest wow. her soul. Now the Barb's, you know, they not only leaked the location, but some of the fans, not all the fans, because we don't want to put every single one of her fans in this category because it's just not accurate, right? But some of her fans have unfortunately been encouraging others to desecrate Megan Thee Stallion's mother's grave because, you know, it's Meg versus Nikki. Now, according to reports, nothing has happened to the gravesite yet. But as a response to Nicki Minaj fans leaking the location to her mother's gravesite, the cops in the area have actually been notified and they've now gotten involved to protect her mother's gravesite. Yo, this thing is getting crazy. It's taking a turn that we probably never even thought we would see. Yeah. Um, mess with people like gravesites. Um, I know what the first report was, um, this right here, that... Um, that the barbs have reported a mega stunning grave site and then later a report came out um that cardi b fans um have reported uh Nicki minaj's dad's um where he where he was at um because he passed away um so it's just getting crazy so it's like it's a lot going on right yeah, now that's when people are doing the most they're yeah. doing absolutely yeah, it's, it's going a little too bit much. too far too much Apparently, they're listen. closely yeah. <laughs> monitoring the situation and they're taking this very seriously because they're taking a lot of safety and security precautions here because they're anticipating that something could happen because, you know, this Meg and Nikki beef, it's gotten so big. At least the police actually got there first. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they heard something and yeah. it was like, before this happens, <laughs> yeah. we just going to be around a little bit. Yeah, somebody put a call in like, yo, you might want to go um, check on that because the address is leaked and... People are saying they're about to come up here and do something crazy to her. Yeah, I could imagine. Know, a what lot would of you... times they have to wait until something happens or they wait until something happens. Yeah, what you want to dig somebody up? Man, it's just a messed up way of thinking. It's, it's crazy. You know, that started with like the New York 6 9 when they just started doing stuff like that to the uh, to people grave sites. I don't know if you've seen the video in Chicago uh, when they ran inside the funeral and took the body outside of the casket and brought it outside. Like, stuff is just crazy when it comes to like stuff like that. Wow. A lot of the fans are now obviously, you know, getting really invested to the point where right. they're literally leaking the gravesite where, you know, Megan's mother was laid to rest. It's crazy. And they're like encouraging a lot of fans who live in that immediate area of <laughs> Texas where she If you live in the area, yeah. go pay that thing a visit. That's crazy. Yeah, that's wild when you really think about it. Yo, I didn't even think about it. That's what they was doing. I just thought they but it's like, nah, if you're in this area, go go handle that. Bars for life. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> He's buried to go there and vandalize it. And that's crazy, man. So obviously these particular fans, not the entire fan base, I'm saying these... You know what that mean, though. That mean a uh, hit struck a chord. Yeah. You want to start doing stuff like that? <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. his, his it really, really struck, struck a chord. chord. Facts. Particular fans right here, they're nothing but maniacal, man. Because this is absolute insanity. I said it before, but I'll say it again. Your favorite rapper's beef ain't your beef facts like how hard right is that right say it say we're gonna say that again for the people in the back of the classroom that probably didn't hear that your favorite rapper's beef ain't 
your <laughs> beef. Like, how hard is that sentence to understand? Your favorite <laughs> rapper's beef is not your beef. Comprende? Comprende. Unless you're your own favorite rapper <laughs> and someone tries to come for you. Right. Well, in that case, let's get it popping. Now, Megan Thee Stallion has actually not responded to any of this, right? And I don't really expect her to. Because as you guys know, she dropped that Hiss record where she was taking shots at Nicki Minaj. And then after that, she hasn't said anything. I mean, Meg has just completely, like, disconnected from the internet and social media. Well, it's right. got crazy. They messed with grave sites and show a video where her at a uh, funeral. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. But that's what it looks like from the outside. Because she could very much be on social media and just have, like, a, you know, like, an anonymous <laughs> account. And that's what a lot of celebrities do by the way she could be looking at every single thing that's going on but she's not making any statements about anything that nikki has said about her she hasn't made any statements about the dish record that nikki dropped and she's most definitely not going to make any comments about Nicki minaj fans leaking the address to the grave site that's for sure he do got a point um since she dropped his it's been like quiet it's been like crickets you haven't heard her really yeah. say um anything like i guess she, i guess she just let the music do the talking let the music do the talking she said everything she had to say right at the moment <laughs> right. now obviously things of uh clearly taken a very ugly turn here and you know what although i feel for meg here because i don't think her family deserves this personally i think megan the stallion knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped that record i think she was really anticipating some type of pressure because as you guys know right Nicki minaj is like you know she's she not normal so like you try to come from Nicki, she, <laughs> right. she will come for you right, right. which right. she did Straight she up. dropped that disc record and you know before that she was saying all kinds of things on social media and right. something is just telling me that Nicki is just getting started so personally i feel like megan the stallion was definitely expecting the heat now, I can't right. say for sure that she was expecting Nikki fans to like leak the address to her mother's yeah. gravesite and never. this happening. Right. There's no way she would never thought it ever thought of that. Who would think of that that it would go? Um, That's the absolute last thing you could think of. Yeah, definitely right here that we're talking about but i think megan was in other words right bracing for impact and this is right. why i think she's not on the internet right now this right. is why i think she's not making any statements and she's not saying anything about this and you know why this is so unfortunate she's like yo i'm not adding fuel to this fire this is the hottest thing in the streets right now the last thing i need to do is come make comments and pour gasoline on a ready hot right. situation it's 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 good where it's at yeah. you need to cool off a little bit. let it simmer down a little bit yeah well, because there's a lot of people who are going to be affected by this Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki beef that have nothing to do with this beef. Like, I'm right. talking their loved ones who aren't really involved in any of this. And I'm sure some of them, especially like on Nicki's cam, they might even be like, yo, Nicki, calm the fuck down, ho. Now, the silver <laughs> lining here, because y'all know, right? Like, me, I always try to find some positive in every negative situation right that's just me for meg well first of all she's she's getting a lot of free promo okay thanks to nikki so this is obviously gonna feed into her next release and then the one after that and then the one after that and then eventually her album is gonna drop for Nikki, I don't really think there's a silver lining here, except for one thing, which is this is going to build an even deeper bond with her audience, because the more they invest in... I think it is building a, um, a silver lining, even though she don't got um, something she's trying to sell or present like an album. Um, it just let people know, like, if you play with me, I'm coming for you. Um, you know, people see just Meg coming, picking on her, and she ain't doing nothing, and then right. other people are going to come, but um, they see that Meg came, uh, Nikki still on business, so people going to think twice before coming for you. It's like, we're going to bully that school if you're not doing that, they're going to keep bullying right. you. Right, straight up. Yeah. You got to eventually say something. Yeah, facts into this beef the stronger of a connection they feel with her personally now for nikki however i don't really think she's gonna gain a lot of new fans from this entire situation quite the opposite actually nikki has been losing a lot of fans from this and she's been alienating a lot of the people who kind of were on that's cap she didn't lose no fans for her There's, if she lost anybody the people that was never her fan you know what right. I'm saying? Um, and we just be noticing, um, we were talking about this earlier, like a lot of the people um, that's involved in it, they're not even uh, Meg Thee Stallion fans like that. They just want to see Nikki take an L. So because Meg Thee Stallion is doing what she's doing right now, they're just getting on Meg Thee Stallion's side, but they're not really Meg Thee Stallion fans. If you ask them um, three Meg Thee Stallion songs, they probably won't be able to tell you. Yeah. They're not fans like that. Yeah. They just want to see, they want to see Nikki fall. See the demise of Nikki, exactly. <laughs> On the fence of liking Nicki Minaj. Anything she does gain, I think it's negligible because this entire situation is obviously hurting her image and it's most definitely hurting her reputation in general. So that's as far as that. And I hope uh, nothing happens to Megan's mother's gravesite because that'd be a shame. Anyone yeah, tries to do so. anything, I'm yeah. sure they're going to get a quick trip to the county, especially now <laughs> since they're you know, obviously aware a of the situation the and they're closely 
monitoring the gravesite. Anyway, Nicki Minaj fans leaked the address to the cemetery where Megan Thee Stallion's mother was laid to rest back in 2019. I want to like the people that did that. Um, how did they feel? Um, because they did that now. Um, Nicki Minaj's father address um was leaked. I'm pretty sure they didn't uh, see that coming. Um, because you know every action calls a reaction, and I'm pretty sure. Um, they didn't think that was to happen. So I wonder um, how the people that feel that is responsible behind the scenes for that actually taking place. Yeah, and I'm sure they, if nothing else, they they gotta know the source that leaked it. Yeah, because if you um if you leak um Meg Thee Stallion's mother's um address, you are a Nikki fan, and now because you did that, uh, Nikki dad address got um dropped. So I'm pretty sure they feel some type of way about that. Yeah, I feel responsible for that. Absolutely after she lost her life due to brain cancer. Rest in peace. Any thoughts on this conversation? What do you guys think about this story? Do you think it's too far? I'm too sure far. you think it's too oh, yeah. far because this is obviously ridiculous, right? <laughs> Regardless of that, though, I'm still curious to hear what you have to say about this. So I'll see you in the comment section below. But most importantly of all, I'll catch you on the next one. And by the way, did you like the video? Did you actually do it or did you for you forgot? Okay. Now you liked it. Thank you. I appreciate you. It's Trey anyway, TV. See you in the comment section Let's below. Catch you on the next one. This is Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore. All lower cases. No spaces. And you can catch us on Facebook. And when you do, follow the page. Like the page. Share the page and come back. All right, I'm going to get right on into this. Nicki Minaj and we got Megan Thee Stallion here. Facts. The fans are taking this to a whole nother level. Yeah. They need to stop. Yeah. It's not that deep. They talking about going to grave sites of her mom and desecrating the grave. The police had to be called in to put an extra eyeball on it. I'm glad they did that. Yeah. But man, when when keeping it real goes wrong, man, facts. They need to slow down, pump their brakes. Skirt. Yeah. Um, I thought this was very informative. I can't say I like the video because it's sad to hear news like this. Yeah, definitely. But I appreciate getting the information, I'll say. Yeah. What do you think about this? I think this is crazy. Uh, this is real crazy. When I was hearing about these uh, reports yesterday, I just couldn't believe um, what I was hearing. I never thought um, that it would take a, a turn like this. But I can't right. can't really say I'm surprised. Um, the way I've seen stuff going, even the way people acted towards me for playing the, his song on my channel. Um, people uh, unsubscribed, uh, cut me off um, because I played the song. Like, we're a reaction channel. We're going to play everything. We're not picking it side we're a reaction channel and we react to it. the new music as it come out if new music come out um we're going to react to it and just right. me seeing that then it's not surprised where the stuff is leading and people will <laughs> be mad just because you played the song knowing that you're a reaction channel that's like right. being mad at the radio station for playing the song knowing you're a radio station like it didn't right. really make uh, sense to me but it just showed you uh where it was going at with these two uh groups and i hope stuff simmered down i'm glad meg probably didn't say nothing um just to get stuff to uh simmer down and people to get get to start thinking about other stuff besides um, what's going on with these uh, two females. But I thought he did a, a good job with this. Right. And I can't wait to see what comes out of this further. But until then, it's your boy Trey TV. And I'm out.